Hi YouTube, Chad here. Uh, today I wanted to be doing a book review on the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about my story, how I got involved using the Strong's, and what it's done for me. Um, years ago I was struggling. Uh, I was using an NIV study Bible, and I was struggling with the NIV. I mean bad. I mean, people complain about how they struggle with the King James Bible. I was five times worse with the NIV. Um, it was that bad. My pastor saw me struggling. He said, maybe it's time you get a different study Bible. Said, well, I, I like the NIV. It's easy to read. He said, uh, yeah, you're having a real easy time reading it. Why don't you just try using the King James Bible? see if that helps. Well, first he asked me if I had any problems with the reading or learning disability. I said no. Um, which then led him into, well, why don't you try a different study Bible? Why don't you try, uh, why don't you, instead of using the NIV, why don't you start using the King James? See if that helps. I said, but it's so hard to read. He, he looks at me and says, Chad, that's what I read. That's what I use. I said, yeah, I know. I said, I don't understand you you reading it out loud, and I don't understand my NIV. I should just give up on reading the Bible. He just looked at me and he said, look, we're ordering some Life in the Spirit study Bibles for the church. Why don't we get you one in, in genuine leather? We'll give it a few months. If you'll promise me not to read any Bible but the King James Bible for two, three months, if at the end of the two, three months, or even after a month, if you don't want it, then I'll buy it back from you. You don't have to keep it. I'll buy it off of you. Okay. You know, if I don't like it, I get my money back. I said, well, how much? He said, it's about 53 bucks. I winced, but I, I made it in two payments, three payments. I was a poor... Poor guy, still am. Got it. Started reading it. Started growing like a re like a weed. Uh, just as I was committed to reading the NIV, I committed the same way to reading the KJV, and I just started growing like a like a weed. I couldn't stop reading my Bible. I found it a lot easier to read, easier to understand. I think part of it is uh, forced me to slow down. But what happened next, and this is what where I'm getting to. What happened next was I kept coming across words I didn't fully understand. And every time I go to church, I'd have a list of four or five words, and the pastor would have to explain them to me. I didn't have a Bible dictionary. Uh, I didn't have any way to look them up. I didn't have a regular dictionary. Well, instead of recommending a Bible dictionary to me, he said, Chad, why don't you, uh, why don't you get yourself a Strong's Concordance? I said, what's that? And he had just ordered some of those for the church. Uh, he ordered two or three of them. And uh, he pulled this out and he handed it to me. He said, this is a Strong's Concordance. My eyes bugged out. This thing's huge. I said, what is that, a dictionary or something? He said, no, it's a concordance. And he told me, he said, let's say there's... Uh, <clears throat> You're reading a passage, you come to a word, you don't understand it. He said, in the main part of the concordance, you look up that word. So you look up the word, and then you find it in that verse. Because, I'll, just, I'll give you a quick one here. Alright. See that? It'll have under a section ah, under a section for a word like right there it'll show you every time that word is used next to that uh, and it'll give you a little phrase um, next to that it'll give you the uh, scripture reference so it goes the word you're looking for Every time that particular word is in English, used in the Bible, and it gives you a little phrase so you can find the one you're looking for, and next to the, the scripture reference, 
is a little number. Okay, see that? Now that little number, depending on if it's Old Testament or New Testament, tells you that you go to the back because there is an Old Testament Hebrew dictionary and there is a New Testament Greek dictionary. Okay, uh, and I'll show you in this one. Here's the Hebrew on this side. Right now. Okay. Here's the Greek. And here's the Hebrew. And you can look up that number and it'll take you to the Greek word or Hebrew word that was used uh, right there for that particular instance. So, let's say I needed to look up the word prosper. Or actually, let's just go here. Uh, let's say I was reading uh, Genesis 46, 15, and I saw the word souls was used. So I'd look up souls, and then I'd look it up. Oh, here's the passage. All the souls of his sons and his. And I look over and it tells me the scripture reference. Genesis 46, 15. Then it tells me the Hebrew number. 53, 15. So then I flip back to the Hebrew dictionary. And I look up 53, what did I say it was? 53.15. Okay. And word number 53.15 is nefesh from 53.14, and I can then look it up there. Properly a breathing creature, i.e. animal of abstract vitality, used very widely in a literal, accommodated or figurative sense, bodily or mentally, any appetite, beast, body, breath, creature, dead, deadly, desire, uh, contented, I mean it gives you a whole bunch of different definitions for that one particular Hebrew or Greek word. So that's nice. Um, you can use this to either find a word, like if you've memorized part of a verse or an entire verse like I have, but you just don't know where to find it, but you, you can just take one of those words, look it up in here, and find the verse you're looking for. Oh, where was it? The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Let's see here. I can look it up. Uh, let's see here. Where is that? The Lord is my shepherd. Hmm. Oh, well, here it is. Look at this. Hills is the sheep that have not a shepherd. 1 Kings 22, 17. As sheep that have no shepherd. 2 Chronicles 18, 16. The Lord is my shepherd. Psalm 23, 1. Hebrew number 74, 62. So I can look up a word based on what I find in scripture or uh, I can just look up any particular word I can look up its Hebrew and Greek dictionary uh, definitions like I said this is the ankle buster okay this is the this one's published by Nelson um, and right now I, I already have my Christian book distributors catalog their website is uh, christianbook.com their phone number is 1-800-CHRISTIAN uh, on average you're going to save 30 to 70 percent depending sometimes it's up to 90 percent that you're saving um, just by ordering through them instead of a store um, anyway <clears throat> let's look at, at some of the prices on this stuff okay so here's the one published by Nelson it's an angle buster that one is let's see here 24.99 in the retail stores through Christian book distributors uh, in this particular catalog from earlier this year, July, August, 2014, it was uh, $15.97. I got this for 16 bucks seven years ago, and that was uh, the church divvied up the shipping, and you know. But anyway, yeah. 
Um, this has, on top of the Strong's Concordance and the Strong's Dictionaries, uh, this also has, let's see here, the Words of Christ highlighted and emphasized for easy identification. Um, it also has Nelson's Complete Topical Index to the Bible, which guides you to thousands of verses relating to over 8,000 biblical topics, names, places, and events. Nice thing to have, but I'll tell you right now, the build quality on this, I'm not happy about. When I got it, there was a tear right down here in the cover. And I'm going to show you this. This is not something that has happened over time. It came like this. You see that? Because of the weight, it, you know, the collapsing here has gotten worse, but this separation here in the corners, it's always been like that. And it's only gotten worse. Um, even if I try to hold it together to make it look new, you can still see it. That's exactly how it looked brand new. Now it's like this. The uh, now there's another one published by Hendrickson. Um, now this one here is about 1,941 pages. Okay, 1941 pages. 1,941. The Hendrickson, which is identical to this, only it doesn't have that topical system. The font is just one point smaller. This has got like an eight point font, nine point font. The Hendrickson has about a seven or an eight. Um, the Hendrickson does not have that um, topical guide that's in this one and a couple of the other little bells and whistles, but it's got everything else. Um, it's smaller, more durable, better built. I think it's even got a sewn binding. I think this has a glued binding. Don't quote me on the bindings, but anyway, here's the price on that one. 1,340 pages for $12.99. It's got everything this one has as far as Strong's. It's a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. It's a little cheaper. The retail price on that is more expensive than this one. The retail price on the Hendrickson is $29.99. The CBD price, Christian Book Distributor, is $12.99. So that's a pretty good price. Um, I, so yeah, get yourself a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. You're not going to be sad about it. You'll be blessed by it. It'll help you do word studies. Will not make you a Greek or Hebrew grammarian or scholar. And I got to point that out. Um, talk to some friends of mine. We're doing studies, and uh, they decided to get Strong's because I use Strong's. So they got them, and they thought, "Wow, now we can be Hebrew and Greek scholars." I shook my head. I said, "No." You can look up a word in Hebrew and Greek. Uh, you're, you can look up an English word, find its Greek word corresponding to it, and find that Greek word's definition. It doesn't make you a scholar. I explained you need to take a lot of grammar courses for that. So then they went and they thought, oh, well, we'll get an interlinear with Strong's in it. So they bought an interlinear, which is a Hebrew Bible or Greek Bible, and then underneath the text is the English word, but the one they had had the Strong's number on top, then the Hebrew or Greek word, then the English word. And they thought they could still do it that way, and it was a struggle. But I just wanted to let you know, this is not going to make you a Hebrew or Greek scholar. This is not a Hebrew or Greek grammar. Okay, this is not going to tell you everything the scripture means. This will tell you what a single word means. It won't even give you that the word's meaning within a syntax, just a word's meaning by itself. But it is very valuable to have one. Strong's exhaustive concordance. I tell you right now, if you want to make a pastor in a third world country cry and weep like a baby, if you can just find him a study Bible in his own native language 
that would make him extremely happy and jubilant and vibrant. If you could find him a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance matched to that translation, you'll have that man in tears for days. Because it'll really boost his study, and he knows it. Now, if you can get him a study Bible, a concordance, and a, and a one-volume commentary in his native tongue, look out, you're going to think the rapture happened. And he's been raptured. But anyway, yeah. And I want to point out, primarily, the Strong's was designed for the KJV. There's some newer ones out. Um, I just mentioned, you know, uh, the, the Hendrickson updated one, which has a better font... Um, it's printed better for thirteen bucks, twelve ninety nine. Uh, this particular one for fifteen ninety seven, or you can get this one in large print, which is twenty two forty nine from Christian Book Distributors. At least it was at this catalog. Um, or you can get the New Strong's Expanded Exhaustive Concordance, also from Nelson, for twenty two ninety nine. Um, also, you can get the Red Letter Edition from Zondervan, 1,808 pages. Um, Strong's is even stronger. Using the latest biblical scholarship and computer technology, this revised edition corrects the errors and omissions of the original based on the KJV. It also features the most accurate Hebrew and Greek dictionaries keyed to Strong's and Greek numbers, Nave's topical index, dozens of maps and charts and more, 1,808 pages, hardcover from Zondervan. Um, this one might be a little different, I don't know, this one's the strongest Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, Red Letter Edition by John R. Kohlenberger III and James A. Swanson, that's $18.99, Comfort Print Edition, $26.99, here is the strongest NIV Exhaustive Concordance, um, Here's my problem with this one. It doesn't tell you if it's the 1984 NIV or if it's the 2011 NIV. So you're, you're taking a chance if you're using a brand new study Bible, uh, you know, they just switch it over. If you're using a 1984 edition NIV and this concordance is a 2011 edition, you're going to have some confusion there. Some of the words are not going to match up. Uh, I know that because when the 2011 first came out, uh, I was going to a, a little Assembly of God church, and it caused a ruckus because the Sunday school teacher got the NIV. That entire class was NIV only. She's like, well, I'm reading the NIV, and it didn't match up with anybody else's. And she's like, well, it's the new 2011. It confused everybody. So even using your NIV can confuse you. So... Um, yeah, you got to be careful of that. There's also, from Zondervan, I think it is, on sale, there was a, uh, and by the way, the NIV exhaustive, the strongest NIV exhaustive concordance, $21.99, retail price $39.99. On sale, the New American Standard Bible Edition, NASB, $39.99 retail, $21.99 CBD. There's also the ESV Comprehensive Concordance of the Bible. Retail price $75. CBD price $49.99. Boy, you can't tell me Crossway is not making a bundle of money off that ESV. That upsets me, the price on this stuff, because you know it should be cheaper. You know it doesn't cost that much to print this stuff. I mean, unless that ESV one's going to be in genuine leather. Then, you know, it might be worth the sewn binding, gold gilding, but who's going to want that for a concordance? Uh, anyway, NIV Bible concordance. Here's one for uh, 1099 but doesn't give any information on it. But then there's also, let's say you want one like this, but smaller. And let's say you look at the Hendrickson one, and the Hendrickson one, the Hendrickson one is just a little bit bigger than my study Bible. So if that gives you any idea, it's just a little bit bigger than my study Bible. Um, so that should give you an idea of the size of it. 
you know, and here I'll hold these up for comparison. Okay, there you go. Uh, do it this way, even. There we go. All right, my the Hendrickson is just a little bit bigger than that study Bible, but it's smaller than the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance by Nelson. Um, anyway, let's say uh, you get the uh, Hendrickson, and it is just a little bit bigger than this, but you don't want to carry that big one around. If you can get by with it, Nelson publishes a soft cover, uh, New Strong's Compact Bible Concordance. This has most of the words used in your KJV, most of them, and where they're found. But it doesn't have the Hebrew Greek dictionaries. The font on this is tiny, probably a five-point font, I guess. So it is minuscule. Um, give an idea here. And of course it is, you know, look at that. You can see, you know, um, it is minuscule. Um, but I will say this, I've carried this with me. And this is about the same as like a, a Cruden's Concordance. Um, Cruden's is just a compact, abbreviated concordance. Uh, you can get a Cruden's from CBD for ten bucks. Um, this particular one, which I love, the only thing I don't like is it's paperback. The spine on paperbacks bust real easy when they have any thickness like this one does. Um, retail on this is fourteen ninety nine. Christian Book Distributors actually does carry this. Um, let me see here. It's right around five or six dollars. Um, it's not in this catalog, but they do have it. Oh yes, they do. Six ninety seven. Six ninety seven for this at CBD. I picked it up for five ninety nine or six ninety nine, six forty nine at a bookstore. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for. Uh, for something that you can carry with you, I highly recommend either the Cruden's or the uh, the Nelson's Compact Series, New Strong's Compact Bible Concordance. If you want one with the Hebrew Greek dictionaries in it, something you can use at home for in-depth study, I recommend the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. Um, the Nelson one is good. Um, I think the Hendrickson one is better. So, yeah, check it out. Get yourself one if you can. They're well worth the investment. They will really help you with your Bible study. They have mine. Um, help you, you know, you rack your brain. Oh, where did the Bible say this? Blah, 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 blah. Here's the verse. Oh, where do I find that? No more struggling with that. You'll just look it right up in here. And then you'll be able to look up the, the Hebrew or Greek words used in it too. So... This is Chad. I'm out of here. I, uh, I made a remote control for my tablet using my uh, my baton and a uh, little duct tape and my stylus. So this is Chad. I'm out of here. Have a great day, everyone. God bless.